Hey, what's going on YouTube? JJMO TV HD. We are here with a little parcel from CEX. Yes, it is the Google Pixel 3a. Um, and yeah, we're going to just do a little first impressions and unboxing today and just show you what my CEX experience is when I make an order from them. Because, um, I mean, the first, you know, reason I started this channel is because I like tech, but also because I like tech on a button. Did it just say something? Calls and notifications will vibrate. Oh, okay. Um, somehow I'm activating the phone itself, so, yeah, anyway, yeah, as I was saying, I started this channel because obviously, man, man wanted to do, like, you know, budget technology that is still bagging kind of thing, like, not everyone's got a million pounds to be buying things, um, and when I say not everyone, I just mean me, <laughs> I ain't got that, so, yeah, I want to show people what you guys can do, um, on a budget kind of thing, and that's where we at, so we've got rid of the Mate 20X, I missed that phone, um, but we went for something a bit more budget to see if it can still you know do what I need it to do um, I'm struggling right here at the moment so I'm gonna pause this and just open it one sec so as you can tell man is bare lazy I couldn't be bothered to go down the stairs to get the scissors to pop the thing open so you know I'm trying to do it with my bare hands and CEX to put bare bubble wrap on it but you know it's cool we pre the CEX invoice and that I was shocked that it come with the original box. A lot of things that you get from CEX, even online, don't come with their original box because it was never traded in with the device in the first place. But you know, the phone's there, it's all cool. You got the original documentation, the original USB-C cable, original USB-C adapter, and you've even got the original power brick fam. So the thing is all official right now. I'm really good. All right, so let me just drop some quick, quick, quick specs on you. This is the smaller Pixel 3a. So this is the 5.6 inch screen, Snapdragon 670, four gigabytes of RAM. The rear camera is a 12 megapixel ting. The front camera is an eight megapixel ting. Um, you've got 64 gigabytes of storage. You can't go any higher than that. Stereo speakers, 3000 milliamp battery. Um, and that's about it, to be honest. That's about it. I am not gonna lie, this this feels kind of nice. Let's get off that. Well, we'll leave that sticker in there for now. This feels very nice. It looks nice as well. Um, no scratches on there. No, just a bit of smudges kind of thing. Um, obviously, you've got to check the condition of your phone because sometimes you'll pay for an A grade at CEX, and um, they'll give you something with scratches on it and. It's just a matter of fact that if you went to sell them something with a little bit of scratches on it, they wouldn't let you sell it as an A grade. They'd give you um, the B grade trade-in prices for it. So um, yeah, make sure no scratches and stuff like that. And that it's actually an A grade or go and get some of your money back. But um, yeah, this looks fine. So you've got the camera on the back, the flash, the fingerprint sensor, and you've got the headphone jack. Looks like a microphone on top. Love the accented orange um, power button on the side there as well. Um, on the bottom side now, you've got um, obviously the USB-C and you've got the little plain Google logo. It's just, it's just casual. You know what I'm saying? It's just casual. What have you got here on the side? You've got the simp in there. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm going to go set this up um, and I'll get back to you um, when I'm done. All right, guys. So we're back. We're back with the Google Pixel 3a. Um, yeah. Been using it for the whole day yesterday, we took it to the beach and everything. Um it's cool. You know, it's cool. I mean, in terms of doing the normal stuff I needed to do, um, like you know, opening apps, doing a bit of WhatsApp, Instagram, uh let's just get on Instagram. You know, a little bit of Instagram and stuff, um, a little bit of Twitter kind of thing. Um, you know, it takes a bit of a while to open and load and you saw a little bit of stutter in there, but apart from that, um it does what it needs to do, really. Um, I don't know what I can what I can say. It does it does the basics that a phone would need to do. You know, all the calls and everything is there, emails and that. Um, the camera, the camera is quite decent. I'm not sure if the camera is as good as the One Plus. Um, obviously, I'm not a you know camera professional guy, so that might be controversial to say to a lot of people. But a couple of the pics that I've taken. Um, on this phone, just compared to the OnePlus pictures, um, seem to be a bit darker. Um, but that's obviously just on first glance. If I just show you here now, um, as you can see in the bottom left, you've got the logo for the OnePlus picture. And then you've got the Google picture next to it there as well. I'll just do that again. So you've got the OnePlus picture there. That was just at the petrol station. And then you got the Google picture there as well. Now the Google picture is not bad. It's just that seeing it, 
next to the OnePlus, literally just like that. And I haven't really pressed any focus points. I've literally just taken both of the phones out next to each other and snapped a handheld shot. Um, obviously, it looks like the OnePlus picture is a bit more appealing because it just looks a bit brighter. I'm not sure if it's actually um, clearer in terms of the, you know that quality kind of thing. Um, that's another OnePlus picture there. You can see the watermark in the bottom. And then you've got the um, Google Pixel photo there. Um, but, you know, they're both sharp. There's the OnePlus picture again on the left here, you know. And then you've got the Google, fo um, <laughs> Google Pixel photo here. So, um, yeah, th it's okay. Um, I wouldn't say it's bad or anything. I've got my um, my shortcuts here as well. So, obviously, you know, you're not seeing the navigation um, bar at the bottom, which makes the little screen that I've got here a little bit bigger, you know, easier to use. Um, shortcuts and stuff like that. The video is okay. I feel the video is really good, actually. I can't even say it's just okay now. The video is actually quite good. Um, let me just get to some more video. I think I took some more video earlier, didn't I? Did I took some more video. Yeah, we took some video at KFC. Um, yeah, no, the video quality is really good as well. I did like the video quality. Um, I put it on a gimbal at some point as well when I was on the beach. Let me see if I can find that. Can I find when we went onto the beach? Let's just skip fast all of that. Um, no, that's a OnePlus picture. That's a picture from this. No, it's a video actually. Oh, wait, why is it playing like that? Oh, it's a slow motion video. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's try and find some more. There we go. That, yeah, this was. That's on the gimbal. Um, yes, yeah, you know, the quality is quite good. I do like the video quality. Um, this is from the front camera. Right, so we've got the races going on right now, guys. The race is right here. <laughs> <laughs> my little bros doing their thing, being little bros. Um, yeah, no, the camera, the camera's quite decent. Um, I think maybe it's probably better than anything else at this price point. Remember, this was three hundred pound on CEX, so you have to put that into perspective when um, you know looking at the camera quality on here. But um, yeah, not that I've, those were like professional tests, but just based on what it looked like against the OnePlus pictures, it looked a little bit darker kind of thing. Um, but you know, all the visual quality or the resolution looked like it was still there as well one annoying thing that it keeps doing um is that when you swipe up to just get to your you know your apps um it brings up the um the recent apps um i'm not sure if it's supposed to do that um and then you have to swipe up again to get your apps up um yeah you know i just want to go into my apps why am i seeing the recent apps i don't <laughs> i don't get why it's forcing me to look at my recent apps um i thought one swipe should just get me into the app drawer i mean you could do a slow swipe um but ain't nobody got time for that i just want to go soop and get into my apps so yeah i've had to do that twice kind of thing um and get used to doing that compared to my other phones but yeah apart from that everything else is the same um the speed is okay like let me just go into something random here let's go into electric cars see how long it takes to load you know it wasn't that bad that wasn't that bad if i come out of this now go back to there let's open a different page um let's try google pixel 4 something like that um except need my consent to be in my phone with the cookies and that yeah the scrolling is okay um yeah no it's not too bad and the size of it compared to the old Huawei that I used to have, it feels a bit different. <laughs> it feels a bit different. Let's say two inches different. But um, I'm slowly getting used to it kind of thing. And we've got the dark mode going on there. And you've got the squeeze for Google Pixel or Google whatever it's called. There you go. Um, what would be really cool is if you could pop open the camera and get the squeeze for the shutter as well. But you, you can't. <laughs> you can only use the, you know volume buttons and volume key but yeah that would be cool as well but yeah guys decent decent phone i'm gonna use it as the main driver daily driver for a while now so um we shall see in a couple weeks time anyway thanks for watching leave a comment in the comment section below subscribe and like and i'll catch you man in the next one um jay jamo out